Hey, I'm Maya from Below Freezing Beauty, and today I just want to make a quick video to show you um, how you can take an old curling iron and turn it into a clampless curling iron. Hint, you will be taking the clamp off. Um, I did this a couple years ago when clampless curling irons suddenly were like the new big thing on YouTube and everyone was doing you know, waves and spirals tutorials with clampless curling irons, and at the time I thought, you know, I'm intrigued by this, but I really don't want to end up with another useless hair thing that I spent money on but don't use, like the bumpets that are sitting in a drawer under my bathroom counter right now. So I happen to have an old curling iron sitting around, small barrel that I had had forever, didn't use, and I figured I would try just um, seeing if I couldn't convert it into my own clampless curling iron. So here it is. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward. Um, it's just the curling iron with the clamp taken off. And I'm going to show you on this curling iron, all you have to do, um, all you need is basically your curling iron, an old curling iron that you don't use anymore. Um, because who needs a curling iron barrel that small? The last time I used a curling iron that small really probably was eighth grade when everyone would wear, the big thing was to wear your hair like up in a bun with the bangs. And then you had a little curl, like a little tiny curl down by each ear. They were so so cool. Um, anyway, uh, I'll show you on this curling iron. Basically, you have a, a screw right here, a screw right here, and then a screw underneath that holds the spring mechanism in for your clamp. So you just take those screws out. I recommended then putting them back in. So I put one screw back into my curling iron, um, and I think I still have the hardware. I saved it just in case I wanted to reclamp it someday in case that bun tendril style came back in, I guess. Um, so I probably am going to put these other two screws back in just because over time it's gotten loose. Um, so uh, just as a, a caveat, you know, obviously unplug the curling iron before you do anything to it. Um, use, use common sense if you start to see wires or sparks or the heating element on the inside of the barrel of your curling iron, stop. Um, and if you are the sort of person who is accountable to a, a parental figure or parental figures, please ask one or more of them before you modify a household appliance such as a curling iron. Um, but I'm actually really glad I did this. This was, like I said, it's a curling iron I didn't use anymore, and now I do use it. Um, and it was sort of a, it was a no lose situation. I wasn't, it didn't cost me anything. I had it sitting around. I didn't use it anyway. So if I ruined it. I actually find it a lot more usable now. I, like I said, I wasn't getting any use out of it before, um, but now I am. You can, I mean, you can leave the clamp on and either hold it open while you curl hair around the curling iron or curl it around the clamp. For me, I get a, a little bump from the clamp in my hair if I do that, and it's not as easy. It's not really that easy to curl your hair while holding the clamp open if you're going for that clampless, you know, where you wrap it around the barrel. Um, the other thing you will need is a heat protecting glove. I got mine at Sally Beauty. It was like four bucks, I think. And this basically just gives you a little bit of protection um, because when you are styling your hair with the clampless curling iron, you are going to either, you're going to end up putting your hand basically on the, at or on the barrel at certain times. So, um, so that just gives you, you can't like walk around with your heated curling iron because you will burn yourself. It's not a magic glove, um, but it does give you that just a little bit of protection that you need when you are curling your hair. There are a million tutorials on YouTube for how to style your hair with a clampless curling iron. I won't go into it too much except to say that, um, you know, this does pretty much anything your basic clampless curling iron does, um, and the only thing that you need to watch out for is not getting your hair caught in that little screwdriver right there, which hasn't been a problem for me. Um, frankly, I've never gotten my hair caught in this, but I have had to have my sister-in-law remove one of those round curling heated brushes from my hair um, by taking the top off with a screwdriver and pulling the teeth up because I had gotten it so stuck in there. So um, for me, apparently an unadulterated hair appliance is far more dangerous than this red green MacGyver style clampless curling iron. Just to be clear, um, I'm not an expert on curling iron law, but I'm like 95% positive that you will be voiding any warranty you may have if you do this. So, you know, just be aware. 
use a curling iron you don't care that much about anymore and uh, you can always put it back on if you don't like it. Hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching. I will stop flailing my curling iron at you.